it's a different yes same show but of course different conversations different impact different everything different themes different attitude because as i've told you 2023 our theme is a woman of power and influence with compassion it's going to be a wonderful year believe it woman this is a year that you will realize your power and how you can use it positively and the influence that you have anyway welcome to the standpoint today we are about to share another um, story of power and influence but of course like from last year broken but beautiful it started with the brokenness which they saw the beauty in it and now it's giving them power and influence it's going to be a wonderful time. A young lady who set up a security company known as The She Guard. Her story, amazing. Amazing. Well, let me say thank you to She Collection for my dress, my three sisters. You know, since I lost weight, my daughters, they have been doing things with my clothes, you know. Say so thank you to her. My hair is by Shasha. Shasha hair. Thank you so much to her. Makeup products, notes, cosmetics, and beautifully applied by Makeup by Tava. She's on Instagram. You can contact her and she will sort you out very, very well. And then, of course, my beads, my bracelet by Twini craft twenty crafts thank you so much to all of them we take a break when we come back we meet mary who is the brain behind the she guard and we talk to some of the members of the she guard as well stay tuned 2023 a year of power and influence with compassion <laughs> to the standpoint and yesterday i have a show and uh and, and three or four for you today it's going to be exciting listen the pride of every mother is to see her children especially girl child succeed break barriers boundaries and set pace and today we're about to celebrate a young lady who's just done that. She calls me mommy, so I see her as my daughter. Apparently, we go way back, I don't remember, but years ago, I was at a place where she was. And since I met her at a program, you know, um, I've done a few programs with her, and I'm so proud of her. Well, let me say thank you to our supporters. That's Awake Purified Mineral Water and Puma Drinks by Casa Preco Company Limited. Juice time, 100% fruit juices. Auntie Vera, House of Food, I don't know what to do about that woman. I mean, since we met her five years ago, there hasn't been a single time she's turned us down. Even when she's not in town, she makes sure that we get something to refresh our guests and also to feed the crew. So you're so, so grateful to her. This is a year of power and influence with compassion, but of course a year of gratitude. That's what gratitude is every, every day. Gratitude is my first name, you know, because if you know where I'm coming from, you know that I have a lot to be grateful for. I'd like to say thank you to Mrs. Oforipoku and the family as well. Another amazing woman and... Um, Thank you. We are grateful. Thank you to Juice Time 100% Fruit Juices. Thank you to Gogot Yogurt. Yep, cleaning services. They take care of our environments and, you know, make sure that we operate in a clean, you know, environment. We are so grateful to them. Stunning Floral and Decor. They gave us our artificial and... Um, of course, uh, natural plants as well. We are grateful to them. And then Fina Deco did the Christmas decorations for us. We are grateful to them. Now on my set is a young lady. She goes by the name Mary Taki Yaboy. And she is the Oga Boro 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 Oboro behind the She Got. Welcome to the standpoint. Thank you so much. I thought you were going to clap for her. Hey, <laughs> she got. I am so proud of you. Thank you so much. So how many guards do you have now? For now, including myself, we are six. Yes, six. Yes, please. When did you start? In October. 
So you started October 2022. Yes, please. So um, October, November, December, January, for only four months. Yes. And you've employed six of them. Yes. What is the brain behind the She Guard? Okay, so I've always had a passion for um, serving the country. I've always wanted to be in the forces, the armed forces. I tried several years to no avail. You know the way the system is, you have to know somebody, for somebody to know somebody. Yeah. Yes, so it wasn't successful. And I asked myself, so what else can I do? Because I still have the passion for that. And I went through the training, yes. So after I was done with the training, I was like... You went through the military training? Yes, I went through the okay. training. So after, I'm like, okay, so I still have the passion. So why don't I do something about it? Because I can't just sit home with it. So I, uh, you know, there's, there are already women in the system, already women doing, doing big things. And they are not being seen and heard enough. Right. So I told myself, why don't I do that? Why don't I make them seen? Because when we talk about security, everybody's thinking about the male. Mm -hmm. Yes. So I, I contacted a friend and she introduced me to um, another friend. Yes, so I was working with the male, yeah, Lamar. He's okay. with the bouncers with degree. Okay. Yes, but I still wasn't fulfilled. I wasn't, I hadn't gotten to where I wanted to get to. So I asked myself, why can't I do the female version? Yes, because I'm seeing that in other countries and they are doing so well. So I thought to myself, probably I'll be the first person to do that here in Ghana. And I am. The first person to have an all-female. Yes. I mean, I met you at an awards program yes. last year. That was around in November, right? Last year, in October. <laughs> okay, I met you last year yeah. in October. Yes. Okay, at a program. Yes. And I was shocked because I hadn't heard of you, you know, and I didn't know of any security, and, you know, anything concerning women, I know. Or I'm supposed to know, yes, you know. So <laughs> I, I, I was shocked, mm. you know, to see you. How... What was the reaction when you decided to start all female um, security guard? Well, as I said, there are already women in the system mm -hmm. doing that. So the reaction was good. People supported. People were like, oh, go for it, go for it. You know, you can do this. No, there are women in the system doing security, but not your kind of security. Yes, not my kind. Not my kind. That is why I, I had the idea to start this off. Weren't you told that you can't have an all-women security guard? It won't work. Nobody told you. Nobody that. told Nobody you that. Told you so how did you get the other um, ladies to join you? Well, you know, um, in Ghana, there are other women um, that are passionate about the security service, right? And so many of them have gone through the system. And last year, like this, I wrote the exam. So many of them, most of them were women. And we were rejected for reasons we don't know about. Right. Yes. So... When I had the idea and I told, I told one friend, and she was like, okay, so let's organize them and train them. Become professional, train, um, trained security mm -hmm. people. So it wasn't difficult getting them because there are people out there who want to do security something. Company. Yes. So you're a registered security company? Yes, yeah. Operating in Ghana? Yes. What does it take to be a she guard? What does it take? Okay, so... <laughs> uh, any woman can apply? Not, or? Any, not any woman. So we would want a specific height, a specific body size, and then the passion for the work. You have to have the passion, the drive. Mm. Yes. So as she got, what exactly do you do? So um, we mainly do events. We do weddings, we do parties, we do um, even funerals. Okay. Yes, and then we do the personal escort. Yes, and then we do private passes. Okay. Yes. So when you say you do that, what kind of security do you provide? Are you just there or you are there to, like, they, they do security? Yes. To protect? Least, yes, we are protecting, we are making sure that the events or the properties that we are guarding, they are safe. We make sure that the events that we are, we are, everything runs smoothly and it goes on well. How many events have you done so far? About five or six. Five or six. Yes. And all of them, what has been the feedback? Oh, they, they really appreciate they really appreciate us being there. They are like we are vigilant and we are hard working and they like seeing us there. Mm. Yes. But so the um 
Let's see, the, the, the events you get. Is it that they come for you or you apply or people recommend you? Yes, it's mostly recommendations. Mostly recommendations. Yes. Can you remember your first event? Yes, the first event was where you met me. Oh, yes. really? Yes, that was my first event. The first event was yes. the awards yes. program? Yes, Eminent Awards. Eminent yes. Awards. Yes, at AMA. That's the, you know, awards <laughs> was, right behind you. Yeah. That one. Yes, that was my first event. Thanks to Prince um, Esiebi Chioki. How did they get to know about you? So we were doing um, a training program by Equitas Foundation. So okay. they train um, the, those who are done with school, with national service, who want jobs. They make them ready for the job market. Mm. Yes, so we went through eight weeks of training and I was there with Prince and he told me that, oh, he's going to do this awards. So why don't I come and then, you know, do all of that. I'm like, sure, why not? So he gave me the first and she told, he told me that you're going to be there. I'm like, oh, if you're going to be there, then we try to make a cry, remember? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why not? Why not? <laughs> Why is that if I'm going to be there? Why not? Because I've always wanted to meet you since you, you came to the Village of Hope. I've always been watching you on TV and in the news, but I don't know where I was Who's going, going to. to meet? Yes, and if you're going to be there, why not? And it did pay off? Yes, it did. I was waiting for you to come, actually. I was waiting for you to come. <laughs> Look at the serious face. He's yeah, saying yeah. I'm waiting for you to yes, come. But you. when I got there, I mean, you had the serious face doing that. It was after the event, before you approached me and gave me your card and, yes. you know, took pictures. But okay. when I got there at first, you didn't show anything. As I said, we are vigilant. When we are doing the work, we are doing it. Okay, we don't play around. We are not there to come and, yes. So afterwards, when people are taking pictures, that is when we introduce ourselves, we give our business cards, we take numbers, and then we like, we'll contact you later. Yes. So I was waiting for you. <laughs> thank you for coming. <laughs> he said, thank you for coming. <laughs> wow, that's, that's, that's amazing. So that was your first event, and since then you did um, the Gifty Auntie at 25. Yes. And then you've done the um, Lamajo La yes. as well. And then you did which one, which other program have you done? Um, so recently we did one at Kempiski. Kempiski. Yes. Great. Yes. Great. Great. Okay. And then some private ones. So some private were, ones. Yeah. Of course, you can't talk yeah. about that. And then you came for the work as well. Yes, the work. Yeah, the um, the work health work. Health work. Well, let me take a break. When we come back, we get to know who this young lady is, and. Um, what has given her this boldness to do this? <laughs> you know, I mean, we want to know her upbringing, where she grew up, and where she wants to go. And of course, we'll get to know the other she guards, you know, five of them. And they have shared their experiences as well. They are looking so serious. Hey, Muslika, <laughs> Karen, Let me say thank you to she collection for my dress my beads is by tweeny craft they are on facebook and on instagram as well hair by shasha hair thank you so much to her and of course it was made possible by baby dapa thank you so much girl baby sister i love you to bits you know that thank you so much for always looking out for me and then of course to say thank you to note cosmetics uh, distributed by silver queen cosmetics right here in Ghana. Thank you so much to them. And of course, beautifully applied by at Makeup by Taiba. The Taiba is T-A-Y-I-B-E. Makeup by, it's one word, Makeup by Taiba. We take a break. When we come back, we get to know Mary a bit more. protected today eh? but all the boys here you know my crew the boys you know if they misbehave i've got the right people they will discipline them for me Aho! Aho! that's right <laughs> okay welcome back to the standpoint and i have on the set mary takia boy who is the ceo the the, the founder of the she guard the first ever female all female security company or security guards in Ghana, I mean, 
a moment of pride for me, honestly. I mean, I mean, yeah, you know my bias, but it's really, really fulfilling. And I thank God I've seen this day. I thank God, and I know that she's going to go way, 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 way more forward than ever. The pride of every mother is to see her children succeed and do much better than she has. And I'm feeling so proud, you know, as a mother at the moment. But let's get to know Mary a bit more. Mary, where did you grow up? I grew up at the village of Hope. At the village of Hope? Yes. Which is an orphanage? Orphanage, yes. At the Goma Fete. How did you find yourself there? Um, my parents, um, my parents were uh, house parents. Okay. Yes, they went there in 2001. Okay. Yes, and in 2003, my dad passed. Okay. Yes. Left with your mother? Yes, left with my mom. Your mother is still alive? Yes, she is. How does she feel about you? See what you've done. I like that smile. She That's is. She keeps telling everybody. <laughs> she keeps showing her phone to everybody. You see what Maria has done. She sends them to family and friends. And yes, she's very proud. How was it like growing up at Village of Hope? It was. It was great because um, we get to live with different people from different communities and regions, and we came together as brothers and sisters. We are still brothers and sisters. Mm. Yes. So I went to primary in GHS there. And then I attended Tema Secondary School. Okay. Yes. You went to Tema School? Yes, I went to Tema okay. School. Okay. Yes. And then? And then to Natford University College. Natford University yes. College as it's well? Yes, Legon. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So after I graduated, I did my service at Ghana Shippers Authority. Okay. Tema Branch. Tema Branch. Okay. Yes. Okay. So afterwards, it was difficult finding a job. Yes, the unemployment hits. Now, be before we get there, how was, I mean, what was your dream gr growing up? And I must put on record that I go way back with Village of Hope. But when I met Mary, I didn't know she, I mean, she was at um, um, Village of Hope or she grew up there. Because when the standpoint um, turned five years, the Village of Hope was the place we celebrated. We, we came there. Mary tells me that she remembers that moment i do well, how how did that moment feel for you it felt great because seeing um somebody who is always on television <laughs> and we are seeing her physical and you were singing with us you were eating with us we were taking pictures it was very memorable it was very very memorable. i didn't get to speak to you personally but yeah yes, but did they have any impact on you yes it did, did they, in terms of building your confidence and yes. making you dream that you can or making you yeah, dream of also being becoming somebody or achieving something. Yes, it 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 really raised my confidence. So I was asking myself, she's doing this, so I can do this too. Yes, mm. and I can't wait to get there. And yeah. now I'm sitting here with you. You see? Goes, yes. You see yes. how life, you yes. know how God so works. So something. <laughs> yeah. Indeed. Yeah. 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 It, it may take the very winding. I yeah. mean, just but dreams really. Yeah, do come true do. really that yeah. that's so that was about um nine years ago because the standpoint will be 15 years this june okay. and when it was when we turned 10 um f five years so going to nine going to 10 years ago when we first met there yeah. at you know village of hope you know and i remember i don't know if you watched that program where i brought uh, now honorable francis sasu sasu yeah uh, sasu yeah. and then um the other one i um, was not forgotten he works with the bank Is it and Paul then uh, or george George, George Anyaba, George Anyaba yeah. and then another lady, they came on the standpoint to share the experiences mm -hmm. of growing up, you know. So I go way back with um, Village of Hope, which I still, you know, go back every now and then to, right. to donate. And um, it, it's amazing how far God has brought you. But what was your childhood dream? To be in the forces. To be in the forces. Since, yes. Right from the beginning. Right from the beginning. Why? First, I like the uniform. <laughs> <laughs> I knew the uniform. Yeah, I like the uniform. And I like the fact that they were disciplined. Mm. You know, when you watch the sis, the sis match, mm -hmm. how they are comported, how they are moving. I wanted to be that. I wanted to see so myself today, doing today, that. If they say they are coming for you, will you go? Why not? You will go, easily go. And you will leave my sugar. No, 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 no. <laughs> now, now I've established something which is unique and right. it's first ever in Ghana. Yeah. Yes. So and do you look forward to maybe working or collaborating with them, uh, sure. the Ghana Armed Forces, where maybe they can come and train sure. you and your team every yes. now and then do collaborations yes. and all? We are open, we are open to, to, to support. Yeah. Yes. In any form. 
in any form possible. Anybody who is willing to help us. Right. Yes, we are open to that. How do you pay salaries? <laughs> so, it's not a monthly job, right? So, I call them when we get a job. Okay. Yes. So it's okay. like a contract. It's like a contract. Okay. Yes. So when you have a job, you call them you call and them. then you pay them for yes. the job, depending on how much you get. Yes, exactly. Okay. That's exactly. great. Okay. So now let's go back. After your service, it was difficult getting a job? Yes, it was. So how long did you stay at home before you started the Shiga? Almost three years. You stayed at home for almost, almost three years? Three years. Because is, that is what I wanted to do. So I wasn't even looking for other places. Yes. I was you still, wanted to go into yes, the military? Yes, I was so that's applying. I was applying. I even went for a body selection. I wrote the examination and I was still dropped. You know, they don't tell you the reason why they do that, yeah, but yes, yeah. they do. And it was very devastating. I was going to ask you how you felt. It was very, very devastating. You know, being turned away from your... It was your... very devastating. Yeah. So I was home and my mom keeps encouraging me. Oh, the train, oh, the train, you know. Yeah. Yes, something big is going to Mama's come. Mama's always Yes, know. believe in Mother's God. Mother's always Shout out to mom. <laughs> Mali Tisha, why are you doing now? <laughs> Yes, so she kept encouraging me. She, 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 she told me to look for other places. Yes, because mm. if you are home, nobody sees you. If you are out, you put yourself out there. Yeah. Yes, that is when you are noticed, yeah. and then somebody can help you. Mm. Yes, so I did that. What kind of person would you say you are? Um, <laughs> a lot of things are coming in mind. Yeah, tell me. <laughs> okay, so I'm not the most friendly. Mm. Yes, but I have my people. Mm. I have my people. So I could go into a room and then we are my fans. Yes, but um, one word I would use for myself is I am confident. Mm. Yes, I'm confident. Mm. Yes, so if I want to do something, I'm confident about it. Whether it's going to happen or not, I'll still do what I want to do. Mm. Yes, and we back it up with prayers. Yeah. Yes. You're a very prayerful person. Yes. You believe in God? Yes, I do. Okay. So before you started this, you prayed? Yes, I did pray. You know, this year, the theme of the standpoint is a woman of power and influence. Mm -hmm. Who do you think is a woman of power? A woman of power, I think, is um, somebody who owns what they do, who believes in whatever they are doing. Mm. in hopes of achieving their goal someday, mm. yes. And what about a woman of influence? A woman of influence is um, whatever you are doing has to impact others. Whatever you are doing has to, to, to help people, mm. yes. Mm. So and they can look up to you. And where do you see yourself? Do you think you are a woman of power and influence with this definition that you've given? I'm getting there. You're getting there. I'm getting there. You're already there. Okay. You're already there and you're working with it. Yes. And I am really so proud of you for okay. what you've done because if nothing is you've given um as a job yes. to some people. Yes. You know, I don't know the backgrounds of these ladies, mm -hmm. five ladies that you are working with, you know, and I believe that more people will be coming. Yes. But I believe that most of them didn't even have anything because you, apart from the service, you didn't have any work experience. No, I didn't have any work experience. All you had was a training. Then I, yes. But then you decided to use that. Yes. You know, last year our theme was broken but beautiful. You know, so you are coming from a place of brokenness yes. where you were rejected. rejected. How many times? About three times. Because more you, than three times. More than three, more times. Than three times. times. Rejected many times. Yes. But then, out of that rejection and brokenness, because I believe it broke you. Yeah, it did. It broke you, it but after, out of that, you, you've risen. Yeah. You took the power yeah. that you had within you yes. from the experiences of brokenness, oh, okay. and then you've used it to be a woman of influence where you are being seen, and you are also reaching and bringing other ladies who are from also a background of brokenness too, to the limelight, to get something to do. It's also to be seen. Yes. This is your first time on TV. Yes, it is. I wonder what the ladies in the audience have to say. So let me go to the she gods. Who should I start with? Yes, my dear. I'm Gloria Abba Enchil. Okay. From the Central Region. From the Central Region. Okay. Yeah. How did you become a member of the Shiga? 
Okay, Mary and I go way back from the village of Hope. I attended oh, Hope also, Christian Academy. You attended the village of Hope Academy? Yes, Hope Christian Academy. Okay. Yes, so she was my senior and we go way back. So when I, I saw her post the, her dream on her status and I asked her what it was about, and she was like, she's about to set up a security company and I was like, I'm interested. And she was like, take it easy. I'm not, I'm not yet ready. I just thought of it. So and I said, no, when you, whenever you start, just call me. I'll, I would love to be part of it. Mm. So that is how I got to yeah. join. But were you working then? No, uh, I wasn't working. Okay. Yeah. Why? You because uh, I've you been home two years after school. Okay. Yeah. So when she told me, I told her I'm not, I'm not doing anything. I just sit at home all the time. So let me use that as an opportunity to wear away time mm. and then also get some training for myself. Mm. So are you happy with what you're doing so far? I'm very happy with it. And I've been able to see a lot of people meet uh, Gifty Auntie in person, <laughs> you. <laughs> so uh, I've met so many people right. through the She God. So I'm I'm grateful for the opportunity. Right. Okay. But, but let me move on to her. What's your name? I'm Melissa Antosaya Sante. Okay. I'm from the eastern part of Ghana. Nah, okay. So I met Mary some time ago at Surfline. Okay. Then we were freelancers. So we kind of break communication. So I was there one day and I saw it on her Facebook page. Then I asked her about it and she said she wants to bring up this all female something. Like, oh, okay, then I'm interested. And she was like, ah, but you can, can, can you get time? And I was like, oh, I'll find time and then join you guys. So it was true then that I joined the She Guard. And I must say, it has been a very good experience. Hmm. I really love it. Okay. But aside of being the, the guard, you, you, you're working somewhere else? Yes, well? please. Yes, please. Okay. I'm working with the Ghana National Fire Service. It's, oh, okay. Yes. Oh, dear, dear, oh dear, ma. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh dear, ma. The, so whenever I'm free yeah. and, and there's an free. event, I go to assess my friend. Friends, okay. Yes. Okay. I wanted to put you and ask you between the fire service and this one, which one? But I don't answer it. Your <laughs> bosses are watching. Don't answer it. I don't want to get you, no, get you into trouble, no. you know. But you do it during but your I free can time. Say it's for God and country. For God and country. Yes. How, yes. how has your experience from the Ghana um, fire service? you know, impacted on your role as a she guard? Okay, uh, with the Ghana National Fire Service, we were, we were taught about security wise. So joining the she guard has rather given me the platform to, to showcase what I've learned from the service mm -hmm. with my friends. Okay, yes. That's awesome. Okay, yes. if you please pass it on to her. Um, Doreen Choro Salifu. Mm -hmm. I, I lived at Adenta. Okay. I'm a loctician and a graphic designer. Okay. But I've been home for a while after my graphic design training. I haven't been getting jobs. So I saw Mary post. We are not friends at all, but then I saw her you didn't post. didn't know her from anywhere? No. Okay. I saw her post about it, and then I texted I wanted to join. She told me she wasn't recruiting yet. Mm -hmm. So... um. On the day of Eminent Awards, she contacted me to come help. And I told her I was busy. So later, she called and then we had a one-on-one -on -one training. And then on the next um, program, which was a Gifty Auntie, 25 years in media, right. I joined yeah. for um, the work. And how has it been for you? Yeah, it's, it's been amazing. Um, that particular day, I, I got to meet a lot of people. So yeah, I was happy about it. Mm. But the job, right? Do you enjoy it? Yes, you yes, enjoy I enjoy do. Yes. Are you not afraid? Female security? No, not at all. Pers personally, I'm a very um, active and fierce girl, so I love it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, dear. What's your name? I'm Aisha Bawa. Aisha? Bawa. Okay. okay. From Tamale. From Tamale, okay. Yeah. So, Akraye. Okay. How, how did you join? Yeah. I'm a footballer. You're a footballer? Yeah. yeah. Wow, okay. Yeah. Okay. So I, I was playing Labadi Ladies. Labadi from, Ladies? From Labadi Ladies to Nunga Ladies. Okay. Yeah. But okay. I had an injury. 
Okay. So no, hold on. How how was your football experience, football female football experience, like? Oh yeah, I was very hard work. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You enjoyed it. Yeah, yeah. Was it worth it? Was it? You know, people talk about me. I'm one of those who think that female footballers are not treated well at all. Oh yeah. yeah. They are not getting the support that they should get at all. Yeah, like if you don't have a manager, mm. it's very hard for you to go yeah. to where you want to be. Okay, so you never got to play for the national team? No, no, no. no, no okay. No. But you said you got an injury? Yeah. When? Like four years now. Okay. Yeah. What kind of injury? Your, your knee? Yeah, yeah. So you couldn't play again? So I told one of my friends, I know I have to look for a job right. and do. So he introduced me to Mary. Okay. But I never met Mary before. Until one day, she called me and told me that she have a job for me. Okay. So I said, okay, I would like to join. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And the smile on your face says it all. <laughs> You're enjoying it? Yeah. Which one, which one was your first uh, event with her, with the she-guard? Mm. Auntie Gifty. The Gifty Auntie at yeah, 25. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. That one too was your first yeah, one. Yeah. Okay. And you, which one was your first? Were you at the Eminent Award? You? No, she was at the Eminent. Yes. My first event was the Lama Joe. Your first one was the Lama Joe. Okay. All right. And yours was um, the Gifty Auntie at 25. You too, the Gifty Auntie at 25. Yeah. Awesome. And so far, you're enjoying it. Yeah. Is this something that you think you, you do? Do you believe in it? Do you think it can go far? Oh, yeah. I keep telling yeah, you keep telling that to yeah. go far. Yeah, yeah, because you're getting the national attention, and I like yes, it. Yes, yes. I like it. Yeah. Brilliant. Okay. Please pass it on to. Okay. I'm Mavis Debra. Okay. I'm um, I'm a mechanic. Okay. Yeah. So, a friend introduced me to Mary. Mm -hmm. So one one night I was there, and then he said, "Oh, I have one gig for you." So I, I, I wanted you to join in then. So I was asking questions. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to go. But right. then later, I'm like, let me just go and try. So that was your program. OK. Yeah. Like so that 25. was my first, okay. yeah, that was my first program. So after the program, I told my friend, I think this thing is cool. I really want to be part of it. Right. So that's how come. I so you, you still, but you still do your yes, mechanic yes. work? Yes, auto mechanic. Auto mechanic, okay. I fix car air conditions. I see. And how long have you been doing that? It's been six years now. Six years? Yes. Fixing car air conditions. Yeah. Please, when you finish, you check my car <laughs> air condition for me. <laughs> because it's not been, wow, that's, that's, that's amazing. I'm, I'm glad I got to talk to you and then all of you get to know what you are doing. And it's, it's amazing. All of you are achieving on your own, you know, breaking boundaries as well, you know, doing things that normally you don't see women doing, but you're doing. And I'm glad that you're part of the she guard, you know, and I, I hope that you'll be part of it for a very long time. Yeah. Congratulations to all of you. Uh, let me say that I'm very proud of you. Yes, you can clap for yourselves, you know. I'm, I'm very, very proud of you and Thank what you. you're doing. But let me come back and what has been the reaction of people you know who see you as part of the she guard now? Okay, so three days ago, someone told me, I think I like what you are doing now. And I was like, so you didn't like what I was doing then? <laughs> and I was like, no, I think this thing is really nice and it's going to take you far. And I'm the type who doesn't really like to go in the midst of people. Okay. But I think this thing is really opening up. You, yeah. yeah, so yeah, it's amazing. OK, great. Let me come back again to get all of them, their, their reaction of the family. Yes, yeah. OK, so I was at work one day, and a colleague of mine came, and she was like, hey, that she got. So I turned and looked at him, and I was like, ah. I said, man, can't change you. So how did you get to know her? He said, you're all over the place. And I was like, oh, really? <laughs> so I, I kind of felt proud that yeah. the female version of us is also somewhere and people get to know no. yeah. there's something else about from being the male side. side. So yeah. I was very happy. I was very, Great. very happy. Great. <laughs> uh, for me, I don't know how to put it, but <laughs> my, my, my siblings keep hyping me. Okay. So they tell me that now that I'm 
if I'm, I'm on the media and now that everyone knows me, they'll go and cause trouble. So that. <laughs> Yeah. Then they'll mess you on it. They'll mess you on it. Oh, she's my sister. Yes. The she god. She's my sister. So I'm um, I'm happy that they're proud of me great. for doing this. So. Great. Yeah. Great. 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 And then you come to it. Yeah. yeah. So um, after her first interview with um, Ghana Online, yeah, I kept receiving um screenshots in my DMs. Is that you we are seeing there? Is that you? And I'm like, yes, it's me. <laughs> they were like, oh, okay. We are we are so proud of you. But personally, my big brother and my big sister was like, hey, we just see you woo. I'm like, why? They were like, hey, that's why we don't be a queen. Because personally, um. I'm so, like I'm Very so active, active and, yeah. yeah. So they are like, "Hey, where did you throw?" When did God have become who he But it's it, it's 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 so amazing when I hear them talk about it. I feel so proud so of proud. myself and so good. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> As for me, I posted the pictures on my start. Yeah. So. Oh, I don't want to say, hey, sister, they're a bouncer. We get bouncer. <laughs> yeah. My brother, you know, say, hey, sister, sister, we're a bouncer. I'm a pentagon. I'm a pentagon. You're a pentagon. You're a You're a pentagon. 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 you are with the she got said that already this this women empowerment thing they are coming to you know this perception they have about Even especially me yeah. being a feminist they eh, she hates men you know she's going to beat men she's going to do that do you do what kind of um, discipline do you instill in them? Uh, for one, we are the commas and we are we we have discipline and we are time conscious. Yeah, and above all, we are committed to what we are doing. Right. So with that, that is what is in us, and that is what is taking us to yeah. where we are yeah. going. Yeah, because, you know, but the per first perception will be that, you know, the, hey, she got the pheasant, and then we are going to be, you know, like boys, and they are yeah. going to be boisterous, and they're going to throw their weight about. But all of you seem to be very calm, yeah, funny you know, enough. but femme. Because I have seen girl. you work, at least for the Gifty Auntie and Lamajo. And then, of course, the... So I've seen you work three times, yeah? Yes. Three, three, mm -hmm. yes. The Eminent, the mm -hmm. Gifty Auntie, and then the Lamajo. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, for me, I'm the only girl among my brothers. Mm -hmm. So doing this, surprisingly, has given them, like, an eye-opener to my abilities. Yeah, so they, they see me as a great woman. And they look up to me. My even my senior brother tells me, "You are a great woman to wow. take this bold step." And I told, I always tell him that Mary is the inspiration because seeing her, she's been my mentor. Right. Yes, my senior mentor. Right. Yeah, so I'm I'm grateful for this opportunity. Okay. Great. Let's begin. So Mary, how old are you? I'm 28 years old. So there are some of them who are older than you. Yes. So how do you feel working with people who are older than you and being their leader? Um, it has been a great experience mm. because being a leader is not easy. Yeah. People are looking up to you and all of that. But um, they've been very cooperative. Yes. So we share ideas. We have a WhatsApp group. We meet and then we talk. And then I tell them we are a family. Yes, so if there's anything you feel like we should do or change, or you are hearing or seeing something somewhere that you think would push us forward, why not? So it has been a very, I'm learning from them and they're learning from me. Yes, so it has been a really good experience. Awesome, that's, that's beautiful. Yeah. I mean, thank you for watching. Okay, so you're watching the standpoint. I say thank you to Mrs. Sofari Poko and the family. Thank you to... Um, yep, cleaning services who take care of our environment. Thank you to
standing floral and decor for our natural and artificial plant. Thank you to Fina Decor for our Christmas decorations. We are in the new year, but if you leave me alone, me, I celebrate Christmas from 1st January to 31st December because I'm a Christmas freak. I love Christmas so much. And then we say thank you to Away Purified Mineral Water and Puma Drinks for, you know, um, the water and the drink they gave us. And then Juice Time, Go God, You God, so grateful this year. A year of power and influence with compassion we pray, Lord, that you open doors for us. We need sponsors. This year, June, the standpoint is going to be 15 years. It hasn't been easy. It's been tough, 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 tough. But we need sponsorship. We need adverts. We need donor support to keep this program going. And we need Destiny Helpers to who will be willing to contribute every month towards, you know, this program, the sustainability of this program. So please, 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 the number to call 0543-618182 or 020-886-1919. We are open to partnership. We are open to um, support. But of course, our core mandate is to empower women holistically. So we talk about issues 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 affecting women girls the youth and children everything from politics to menstruation we talk about it and this year our focus we are going to look at season based so we take a season of 13 weeks and we treat certain sectors and then the next week so we'll tell you more about that but let me take a break when we come back we take the final words from mary that she got and the lead she got. What's your title? My title? Mm. CEO. CEO yeah. of the she got. Yeah, yeah I've been CEO. talking to her. And, and oh, during the break, one of my cameramen, he's called, he's called Prince. He said, he kept to tell me that I shouldn't tell them, but uh, he has a brand new boots and he wants to donate to them as part of his contribution. He's shaking his head. He's the one... <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. He's the one taking my shot. So if at this part, my face is not nice, that means he's <laughs> upset with me that I said it. But I mean, how can you be willing to do something like this and you don't want me to say it? And to you out there, if you want to support them in any way by inviting them to your events to come, you know, and um, be the guard, be the security escort you in any way, Please do that. That's the best way we can support them. We are not asking for handouts for them, but give them the job, the opportunities to exhibit what they can do so they can also earn something from it. And who knows? Who knows? One day, one day, your child will be your niece, your, your, your um, granddaughter, your cousin will be joining, will be also getting a job because I believe so much in the she God. Not just because they are women, but because I've seen them. I've seen them work. I actually got them to be the guard at, you know, the Gifty Auntie Foundation. And during Lama Jo by episode music, I also fought hard to make sure that they were the ones who were given. Some people were doing good. I said, ha, well, lie, you lie bad. You go be the she guard. And they came and they really showed that, yes. They are really professionals and they love what they do and they know what they're doing. And if there's any, uh, we we'll love the military or, I mean, any, any of the security agencies yes. who are willing to partner them, train them, take them through the rudiments of security and, you know, nation guarding or whatever it is. I foresee this year, this much, we have to see the She Guard Macho. What would be nice? It would be nice. In their uniform, it will be really, I'm um, personally, you know, lobbying for this to so see them, even if they attend or whatever it is, me to a wedding and come and match with them, you know, God, ma mama God, yeah. <laughs> mama she God, you know, but Mary, yes. it's amazing what you're doing. Thank you, you start, Thank you know, you. I'm sure you're going to get the, all the media attention yeah. and everything, yes. but I pray and hope you do not lose focus of what you really want to do. And um, you will take it far. So Thank what you. is the bigger picture? What is your dream? So that some of us will follow you and make sure that you do not deviate from it. You stay focused and keep fighting. 
So my dream was to serve and protect, mm. which I'm doing now. Yes. And secondly, I wanted to create jobs for the young women out there. Okay. Because statistically, unemployment rate is going high. It's 13.9% yeah. now. Yeah. Yes. So doing something and other people helping you to do it, yeah. which they are passionate about. Yes. Mm. And I also want to bridge the gap between uh, male-dominated fields. So as we said earlier, security is not just for men. Mm -hmm. Yes, women are out there who are doing great, amazing work. Right. Yes, so I'm giving the voice out there to all the women right. who are in the security service. Okay. That they are doing a very good job. And we are seeing them. Yeah. Yes. Is there age limit to who can be a part of it? Um, yeah, below 30. Below 30? Yes. Below awesome. 30, yes. So targeting the youth yes, and the, the young youth. ladies. Yes. Targeting the young ladies. Yes. Awesome. And um, this is the second week in January 2023. Mm. And um, we are talking about a young lady yeah. who's risen from brokenness yeah. to power and influence. What have you got to see to the young ones out there, the young ladies out there who's left university for years? You, it's not like you didn't have, you don't have any qualification. I do. You went to secondary school, you did tertiary. Yes. You, you did your national yeah, service. service yeah. But then getting a job, following your passion of getting to the military did not materialize, yeah. but then you used it. To, 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 to exhibit power and influence positively yeah. and with compassion. What have you got to say to young people out there watching you today okay. who are also home because I can't get my job. I want to be a journalist. I'm not getting a job, so I'm staying at home. I want to be a doctor. I'm not getting a job. I want to be that. What have you got to say to them? So all I have to say to them is that never give up on your dreams because I, I couldn't wait to meet mommy again, and I have now. So you should never give up on your dreams. And if you you have a passion about something, you should go for it. You shouldn't say because it didn't work here, so you are, not, you are going to stay in your comfort zone. Move. When you move, things follow. Mm -hmm. Yes, and um, we should support our own. If somebody is trying to do something, somebody is passionate about something, support your own. Because I got all the love and support I needed from my family especially. Exactly. Yes, which pushed me to do what I'm doing. So. Okay. Yes. So if people want to contact you, what number should they call? So my number is 0555-209993. Repeat. 0555-209993. Okay. Yes. And it will be on the screen as well, your social media handles? The social media handles, yes. Yeah. The She Guards. The She On Instagram and on Facebook. Okay. Are you yes. on Twitter? Yes, we are on Twitter. Twitter as well. also yes, the, the she guys. Guys. Yes, okay. please. Okay, we wish you all the best. Thank you so much. You know, I'm I'm very proud of you, and um, I can't wait to see what this year 2023 has for you. Thank you so I much. I mean, I'll be looking out. Sure. And you know that if ever I have any event, mm -hmm. it's going to be she guys. Mm -hmm. And if no, <laughs> 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 And if anybody asks me for recommendations, it's going to be Thank she got, so she got. So I'm just so going to be all out. And I pray that yeah. people out there will also support in the best way they can to make sure that, you know, they, they, they achieve their dreams. Thank you so much, lady. Clap for yourselves. The she got. <laughs> okay. So I'll be back with a bit of me. It's amazing what God can do with our brokenness. If only we we'll give him that opportunity, that chance. Yes, I use the word the opportunity because sometimes we don't give God the chance. We don't give him the opportunity to use us. But sometimes <laughs> you don't need to give it. He will just force you, force you there. If only you be patient and look at the beauty in brokenness, you will identify your power and influence. Because you've been down there before. It's easy to look back and hold somebody's hand and pull that person up because of the compassion you have, the experience you've had. Unfortunately, too many times we use our power and influence negatively. I've been there before. Yes, I struggled to get here. So they must also struggle to get there. No, it doesn't work like that. God gives us the opportunity 
to be able to come out of brokenness so that our experience will be an example for others to hold on, to hold on and also to fight. Whilst we, we give them that power, that, that strength, that encouragement, that platform. That's what I do. There are people who've come on the standpoint and have achieved greater things than I can ever dream of. There are people who have appeared on the standpoint and have had opportunities that I've never had. But that's my pride. That's my joy. That the platform that God has given me, which will be 15 years this year, has been a propeller for a lot of women. And hopefully this year, we'll be able to feature some of them who will come back and tell their stories. So 2023 is your year of power and influence as a woman. And when I say power, positive power with compassion. Find within you, deep within you. And it's a process, the healing, yeah, from the brokenness of last year. It's a process, but if only, you hold on and tell God to let his perfect will concerning your life be done. Whilst you work at it, you strive one day at a time with your brokenness, with your wound, with the blood oozing out of your sores. You realize your power and influence. Thanks for watching. I'm only but a woman. But I know that I have power and influence. And I pray to God that I use it positively this year, 2023. Thanks for watching. See you same time next week. I remain a woman with super crazy faith in God. But I know God has given us wisdom. God has given us power and influence. And therefore, we must use it wisely. Bye for now.